Hello, my name is Raida Boost, and in this video I will install Autodesk InfraWorks 360 version 2017. Please note that if you have installed the previous version, then you have to uninstall it first. Of course, you can do it during a new version installation, but in my case, I have uninstalled the previous version. If you install InfraWorks 360 2017 first time, of course you need to download installation files. You can find those from Autodesk website. Just search InfraWorks 360. Once you have found InfraWorks 360 landing page, you should probably see also free trial link. Click on that. Then you have several options to download or install InfraWorks 360. Of course, you need to include your email address first, as it is with all other Autodesk products. And then you can download a trial using Install Now option. Install Now option means that you are installing while downloading, so it may need quite good internet connection and it takes a little bit more time. You can also use Download Manager. With Download Manager you can download your files first and then you can install it right now or maybe tomorrow. And it's also a good choice if you want to install it into several machines. So one option is to download from Autodesk website, but if you own already InfraWorks 360, meaning that you have a license, then you can log into your Autodesk account and just find your InfraWorks 360 from here, click on Downloads, and you can select a version, platform and language. And as you see, right now I have only Install Now option. It again means that I'm installing while downloading, and it may take a little bit more time. At the moment, I have downloaded all files using Download Manager, and it means that I do have all needed files on my hard drive. Therefore, I can start my installation from Setup Exa. Just double click on setup.exe. Now you can start with installation straight away, or if you plan to install InfraWorks into several machines, you can also create a deployment. I continue with installation. So I click on install button. I have to read a license agreement and agree with those. So I accept, I click next. And now you can select what do you want to install in terms of InfraWorks 360. If you click on InfraWorks 360, then you can see that you may have a selection of different subcomponents. At the moment, I can see that in my case, that subcomponent is already installed with previous version and it enables us to share data between InfraWorks and Autodesk Revit. So I click again on InfraWorks 360. Now I can select installation pass. I leave it as it is, meaning that default is good enough. On the right hand side, I can see disk space requirement. So I need to ensure that I do have enough disk space. Before I actually go on with installation, please note that you have installation help and you also have a system requirements and also general readme. Especially system requirement, please check that your PC or laptop does meet with recommended system requirements. From here you can see different product version. And right now we talk about 2017. Once you have checked system requirements, you can return to installation screen and to start actual installation, just hit Hit install button. You can see again that with InfraWorks 360 different components are also installed and altogether you can see that in my case there are 16 different components or software packages that are installed and when this number counts to zero I should see a screen that all went well and I can start InfraWorks 360 2017 first time. After installation I can see a summary that all went well so I can close my installation window and and I should see also a desktop icon to start Autodesk InfraWorks 360 2017. So I double click on that icon. InfraWorks 360 2017 loads first time. You may see also that your browser is opened with let's get started videos. It's a good place to start if you want to learn how to do your first steps in InfraWorks 360. I minimize this window and I can see then a general screen that Actually, InfraWorks 360 includes now all modules. I hit continue and then I can see a preview of different tutorials or my own models. Because in my case, I had already 2016 installed and created a couple of models in there. I can see a bit 
different picture than perhaps you if you have installed InfraWorks 360 first time. If you are a first time user, then you should see some sample models so that you can start investigating by yourself. Please also note that depending on was it your first time to install InfraWorks 360, you may see actually that you need to log in or create Autodesk account to start using InfraWorks 360. At the moment, I was logged in with previous version and it is remembered with 2017. But let's do a quick example. If I sign out, my InfraWorks 360 starts again and it asks me to log in. If I don't do it, I can't use a software to create your Autodesk account. It's free if you want to just try out InfraWorks or any other product. I close InfraWorks 360 and if I try to fire up InfraWorks 360 again, I should see the same screen, meaning that I need to be logged in to be able to use actually InfraWorks 360 even if I'm in trial mode. So after entering my username and password, I click sign in. I should see the same picture with all sample models and also with my previous models if previous version was installed beforehand and I was using that. All those are available at my so-called desktop area.